Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to open Oanda Live account on your PC or laptop. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel in saying that. Let's just jump straight into the video. Alright, so what we want to do is open up a web browser and head on over to Google. Then from here in the Google search box, type in sign up Oanda. Then click enter. Then from here, we want to scroll down past all the sponsored results if there is any. And then it will say open a Forex account from Oanda.com. So go ahead and click onto that website. And it should take you to Oanda.com backslash apply. And then it will say ready to open a trading account. And then from here, the form takes around roughly eight minutes to complete. And it will say, do you live in insert your country here? So go ahead and click on to yes, and then click on confirm and continue. Then from here, we need to create a new account. So now from here, we want to put in your email address and then your country where you're located from, from Australia. So I want to do Australia and your mobile number here. And you need to choose a strong password and then have a read of confirmations. So just your terms and conditions. And if we scroll down, click on confirm and continue all right so I'm going to click on confirm and continue all right then you come to a page that says personal details so from here jot in your first name last name middle name date of birth your country of citizenship nationality and are you a tax resident in any other country and then click confirm and continue I'm going to fill this page out and see you on the next part all right, now you need to put in your home address. So where it says your address, start typing the first line of your address and it should automatically fill or you can enter the address manually. And then from there, do your city, your state postal code and click on confirm and continue. I'll see you on the next part. And now I would want to know a bit more about you. So your employment details, so your employment status, your job title, your industry, your annual income, your savings and investments and source of trading funds. So for example, employment status, you can be self-employed, retired student, it doesn't matter, I'm going to do employed, just put in a title here, and then industry, and then your annual income, so 30,000, 30 to 50, and then this is your cash plus liquid asset only, so click on to how much money you have savings and investments, so for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do that. And then you do your source of trading funds. So you've got employment income, government benefits, saving investment pensions, student loan. This might vary depending on what location. You might have more options here. So just go ahead and check, uh, check which one best describes your situation. So I'm just going to do employment details and then click confirm and continue. And now if you've got any errors, it will say please complete the required fields. So I need to fill out this industry. So just got to find the right one. Alright, and then confirm and continue. Then it will come to trading experiences. So the following questions will help us to assess whether you have the appropriate experience to do Forex trading and CFD trading. And then it's asking, have you had experience trading in CFDs or margin FX on a live or demonstration practice amount? Click on yes. If you click no, it will say, do you have any other relevant experiences? So have traded exchange, traded shares, attended. So yeah, you need it. Answer at least yes on one of these, as far as I'm aware. So I'm just going to say yes on this one, confirm and continue. And now, knowledge assessment. So you've got to fill this out. So it says Forex is traded in currency pairs. If you buy the EU USD currency pair, what are you doing? Then we'll have a questionnaire. So, like A or B, buying euros while simultaneously selling US dollars, selling euros while simultaneously buying US dollars. So you've got to fill in this questionnaire and then click save and continue and then once you've filled out this click on confirm and continue all right then from here it will say i details we use this information to verify your identity electronically which in most cases will allow us to open your account instantly so yeah simply put in you got your driver's license passport medicare and put in your state and then click confirm and continue so yeah i've got to jot in my license number and card number Click confirm and continue. And then after that, it will say something along the lines, thank you for your application. Your account is almost open. They'll just need to review your application before your account can be activated and they'll get in touch if they need anything else from you. 
So in my experience, it should take 24 to 48 hours if they need any more information. So yeah, just uh, just be patient and wait while the owner team gets back to you about opening up your account. If you've got any questions or queries, just go ahead and reach out to their customer support team and see how your account creation is going.